North Wales Human District War Memorial Hospital is being redeveloped. As part of this, NHS Norfolk has liaised closely with a group of community leaders, councillors and the local involvement network to ensure patients had a voice. We asked members of the community involvement panel what it was like to be part of the decision-making process. Well, as a member of the community involvement panel, I really feel that an enormous amount of effort has gone into making sure that the public were fully cons consulted. We've had enormous professional expertise from NHS Norfolk and uh, the all, all the organisations who are represented on the uh, community involvement panel have had their say. Um, and then we've gone out, of course, to the wider community. And it was particularly interesting, we sent out a questionnaire. And of course, people's expectations were absolutely enormous. But I think we've done our best to show that we've listened to everything um, people have said and we have reduced their expectations to a little more realistic level and everybody seems to have been very happy about uh, what's been achieved. I think in a way this is a perfect case study of the value of uh, consultation and engagement. Uh, the delays were uh, getting uh, too long uh, and so I called everyone together, the PCT, local GPs, councillors, uh, together with myself and uh, to be honest, the response from the PCT was to get the thing moving and uh, it re-engaged the GPs. Uh, they worked to closely together with them uh, and since then I think the project has been uh, has kept on track. I, I've been well informed at each stage uh, and so despite my early criticisms, uh, ultimately this is a really good project uh, which has been developed in good communication with local people. Before this public engagement there were a number of difficulties. Our intermediate care review in 2007 was a subject of great debate and there were real fears voiced loudly and frequently that the project was not on track and that the war memorial would be lost. By keeping the local MP stakeholders and members of the public fully involved, we have been able to find solutions together to the satisfaction of all. Having access to the budget as chair of the um, community involvement panel um, I felt it was great because it helped us to get the whole community involved. Um, we staged various exhibitions around the district and finished with one in North Warsham. Uh, they were all fairly well attended and I think everybody realised what was going to happen on the site. Um, obviously there have been one or two people who, because of the history of the site, have been a little bit against the changing the old hospital but I'm afraid we must move with the times and the new hospital is going to be a great facility for North Walsham. Well as you know we are here to give older people a voice in North Norfolk and I believe that you did that. You actually enabled us to come and facilitate some of the meetings and we do that quite well. So I think we worked in partnership didn't we? And it happened. And the feedback that I've got from older people is that they had their voice heard. So that has to be good. Obviously, there were things that they wanted. North Walsham Hospital was very important to them and they really wanted to have a um, part in the decision making. And we did that. As far as I'm concerned, after a lot of hard work, etc. We've now got Norfolk and I um, to understand what we want and we're now going to get what we consider is right from the area. It'll be to the advantage of most of the people in this area, particularly from transport companies, because not everybody's got a car, so they can get here by bus. Consultations are still ongoing and it is hoped the redeveloped site with the new 24-bed inpatient unit will be completed by winter 2011. Well, I'm, I'm really excited by it. It's great news for the community in North Norfolk. It means care closer to home uh, and it gives us the opportunity to get more people out of the acute hospital where care is very expensive uh, and get it into a, a setting closer to their own home uh, where you've got more personal care. So I, I think it's a very exciting project and I think also the idea of bringing health and social care much closer together uh, in the refurbished Rebecca House is also really uh, a really important development.